The Detroit Red Wings have had a pretty good season so far, starting from their offseason, getting Alex Debrinkit, signing Patty Kane, and just the whole team gelling together and doing things right for the Detroit Red Wings. But there is still a question mark, and we'll get to that in a minute. Welcome back to Gillis TV. If you like anything NHL, MLB related news, rumors, trades, whatever there is, we got it covered here for both sports on the channel. Now, like I said, the Detroit Red Wings have been pretty good over the, the start of the season, basically, but have hit some key injuries to Dylan Larkin, JT Confer, and Clem Costin. Now, with recently called up Jonathan Bergen, there's been a lot of trade speculation that he has requested a trade and whatnot and wants to go play somewhere else where he has the opportunity. And we've seen that with a couple teams lately and especially the Edmonton Oilers with Philip Proberg just not getting the shot because Vinny DeArnay is taking up that time from Philip Proberg and it's the same as in Detroit just guys stepping up ahead of this guy or guys that teams don't really think we're gonna have a chance came into spring training and training camp and showed hey I'm I actually want the spot I'm gonna produce and have produce and that's kind of what led to this whole trade speculation of Jonathan Bergen too as he's a former second round pick in 2018 as I got a couple notes here uh they called him up just a couple games ago he was picked up in 2018 in the second round but who hasn't necessarily in his own eyes got gotten the opportunity to actually prove that he belongs in the NHL and has a fair shot. Bergen, who has appeared in 67 games last season, however, has only seen six games of action this season. There has been some rumblings of a trade request could have been discussed, and after performing well in his recent call-up, the talks are starting to heat up, and that's from Sportsnet. Elliot Freeman mentioned Bergen in his 32 thoughts and had this to say. Two goals in two games for Bergen since his call-up. I'm not sure he'd gone as far as asking for a trade from Detroit, but everyone was aware he wanted more of an opportunity. You've got to get ready when it comes, and he is. This is just a player who believes he can help produce in the NHL and could be a really good pickup for a team that's in a playoff contention, needs some goal scoring from their bottom six, could move up to that second line eventually if it pans out. But a really good bottom six player that could be available from Detroit for the right price. Now, like it's a, I said, Bergen played in 67 games last season. He had 28 points. He had 15 goals, 13 assists. If you can have a bottom six guy scoring double-digit goals year in, year out, your team will be golden to make the playoffs and be a Stanley Cup contending team. Look at a lot of those teams who do have those double-digit goal scorers on their team this year for Detroit's only gotten six games and has two goals and one assist for three points in six games still if he can play an 82 game season and score 35 42 points a team's going to take a chance on a bottom six or a second line player like that who is cheap can do a lot of the little things in Grand Rapids this year in 16 games he has five goals 10 assists for 15 points and only two penalty minutes there as well so he he is projected in the nhl to play 60 games have 30 points 20 goals 10 assists so that's a thing to keep an eye out on is maybe a John, jonathan bergen i almost want to say jonathan because it's so close bergen trade from detroit could be in the works we will keep an eye out for that as a lot of speculation was when he was scratched but it was just a call up and we'll keep going from there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Gillis TV. I'll catch you on the next one.